solar system bigger than Pluto. Did you know that? No, you didn't know that. Who, who's, you were right here. Pluto lovers, raise your hand. Did you know that? Did you know that? Did you know that Pluto is more than half ice by volume? Did you know that? No. If you brought Pluto to where Earth is right now, heat from the sun will evaporate that ice and it would grow a tail. Did you know that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Tell me what part of your anatomy that knowledge egg just got cracked on. reclassified as a dwarf planet. It's happier that way. <laughs> really. It's, Pluto's cool with that. Now, no American could have called it Pluto. It was discovered by an American, named by an 11 year old girl in England who was very well connected. Her father was head of the Cambridge Library, who was friends with the Astronomer Royal, who knew the head of the, uh, the head of the, uh, the observatory, uh, Arizona, Lowell Observatory in Arizona, where Pluto got discovered. And she had just learned Roman mythology, and figured Pluto, the underworld, it's far away, you don't want to go there, it's uh, Pluto. It's stuck. In America, we could have never named it Pluto because the word Pluto was already taken. <laughs> there was a mineral laxative. When nature won't, Pluto will. <laughs> so an American, that was not an American, American could have done that. And I was implicated in the demotion of Pluto. I didn't do it, <laughs> although I was an accessory. But I didn't, I drove the getaway car, yes. <laughs> in 2000, in New York City, we redesigned the planetarium there, and in case you missed it. There you go, right there. Okay, so that is where I work. You're all invited, hmm. okay? At the front gate, you tell them that you, you know me. <laughs> You're still charging $19 to get in, right? So, so we redesigned this facility and helped put the planets, orbs around the sphere, and Pluto was missing. We, we rearranged Pluto with other icy bodies in the outer solar system. The New York Times caught wind of this, had a page one story. Pluto not a planet? Only in New York. <laughs> then the hate mail started. <laughs> The hate mail from sizes, yeah. We'll learn more about it. So, who the hate mail come from? From elementary school children. I'll read this to you, dear scientist. You can call Pluto if it's not a planet anymore. If you make it a planet again, 
all the science books will be right. <laughs> Do people live on Pluto? <laughs> if there are people who live there, they won't exist. <laughs> I not quite figured that out. Why can't Pluto be a planet? If it's small, doesn't mean that it doesn't have to be a planet anymore. See, that's the sizest. <laughs> Some people like Pluto. If it doesn't exist, then they don't have a favorite planet. <laughs> Right back, but not in cursive because I can't read. <laughs> Even cartoonists got into the act. This cartoon is like. <laughs> Shoes there. Oh,